Good evening YouTube, Air of Carthage here, and thanks to my awesome sponsor MSI, I've got something really cool to show you, and I'm tying it in with the upcoming release of, as you see here, Total War Three Kingdoms, which is the next historical Total War focused in ancient China. So, should be a lot of fun. Well, how do you get prepared for it? Well, this is a PC game, that's right. No console here. So, you need a PC to play this. Well, a lot of you may wonder, how do I get my own PC? Well, you can buy a pre-built one, but better yet, you should build your own. And MSI sent me some awesome parts that I can use to help show you how you can build your own. And I'll even throw a bit of variation out there too. What if you don't use these parts? What are some other options? But let me sit here tonight and talk you through the basics. And it is basic. It is possible. You can do it. I'm going to give you the how-to, the questions you need to ask, what parts you need, and then I'm going to give you some example builds and show off the hardware they sent me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get ready for Total War Three Kingdoms and more. So what parts do you need to build your own computer? Well, I've made a simple list for you and bulleted it here so you can follow along easily. And if you need to, you can look back on this as a reference. You're going to need a motherboard, which as I said, MSI sent me one. I will show you that here shortly. The motherboard is the base of a computer that all of your other hardware attaches to, including the processor and the other key components. Speaking of processor, you're going to need one, that or an APU. That's a bit of a discussion for another time, but I just put it out there for those who may already know what it is. You may need a cooler as well. Sometimes that is not included when you purchase a processor. You're going to need memory, DRAM. So this uh, memory that you need is kind of imagine it like the desk space that you have. The more memory you have, the more area your computer has to lay things out and buffer up all the programs that you're going to be using. Storage. This is kind of like a shelf or a filing cabinet. This is where you keep all the things that go on your computer. There are two types, SSD or solid state drive. This is the newer, faster version of storage. Or HDD, hard disk drive. This is the older, slower, rotating magnetic disk, but it's also cheaper. A graphics card. A GPU is going to be necessary for high-end gaming, or in my opinion, real gaming. You will need a dedicated graphics card. These can range in price from all the way to about $150, all the way up to $1,350 for gaming graphics cards. There is a huge variety of cards, and you'll need to do a little research on where your budget falls. A power supply. A power supply is what delivers the power, as you might imagine. To all of the different parts of your computer. A good power supply will be rated um, a certain factor. You can have bronze, gold, platinum. These ratings indicate how um, reliable and safe these things should be over time, and you're going to need a power supply to run your computer. A case. This is the exterior of your computer, and it's what all of your hardware mounts to. It can either be a very simple case, or it can be a showpiece, depending on what you're looking for. And then peripherals. You may already have these around the house. A keyboard, mouse, monitor, headset, speakers, anything that you're going to need to run your computer. You're also going to need an operating system. If you're a normal computer gamer, you're going to want Windows. There are some out there who run other things though. And I'm going to throw in a little extra requirement here. Be excited. You're going to build a computer. Maybe your first computer. And you know what? It's going to be awesome and it's going to look awesome. That's also called optimism. See? See what I was doing there? And you're going to be proud of it afterwards because you're going to post it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever it is you use these days, all you cool young people. Show it off. You built it. Be proud of it. Now, what are some questions that you should ask before you go to build a computer? What resolution are you going to be gaming in? 1080p, 1440p, or 4K? Do you demand constant 60 frames per second? So do you want a very, very smooth experience? Or are you going to do eSports and you want it even faster than that? What's your budget? How much money are you willing to spend? 500, 700, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000? All that makes a big difference. Are aesthetics important to you? Does your computer need to look like a disco dancing uh, studio? Or do you just want plain black? What size case do you want? Mini, micro, mid, 
huge. <laughs> There's a lot of different sizes, you need to figure that out. And that's pretty much the basic pieces of what you need to know to build a computer. Alright, so I apologize up front for the shaky footage you're going to see on this very first part showing the box. It doesn't stay that way. MSI was kind enough to send me this Meg Z390 Ace. This is near the top of the line, but I think uh, does represent uh, flagship technology for them in terms of Z390 motherboards. Now these are made for your 8th and 9th gen Intel CPU, specifically the 9th gen. Um, let's pull it out of the box and I'll show you what we get here. So this thing is premium quality all around. You can see that by the extremely heavy heat sinks and power delivery as well as the steel armor around the PCIe and RAM slots. Now if you're not super familiar with the motherboard, you don't know what all this stuff is, just know that this thing is a beast and is giving you the best of the best. Like right here I'm showing you the heat sinks. This is going to help keep your stuff cool, the power delivery for overclocking, and then this awesome mirror display for the aesthetics. This board is going to be looking great. Look at this input-output shield built in. Very, very premium. Lots and lots of USB connections on the back, including a Type-C. There's also a CMOS and BIOS uh, flash up there. Very handy things to have. It is wireless built in. So again, this is a premium motherboard down here in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to show you the M.2 slot so you can have lots of NVMe SSDs and there's a lot of nice aesthetics there like with that dragon. Here's what comes in the box. You're going to get yourself some instructions, drivers, nice decal here to show off the Dragon Squad pride on your new computer that you're going to build. Quick start guide, screws to put your M.2 drives in. Of course, a manual with detailed instructions, always handy, rather complete. I've used these multiple times from MSI. Your SLI bridge, very nice addition in case you're going to do some really high-end gaming. And then you get a lot of cords in here. A lot of these are RGB cords. There's also SATA cables. This right here is actually your wireless antenna. It's not going to focus real great. I'll put it up close. Sorry for the misfocus, <laughs> but that is a wireless antenna that stands up and lets you uh, unplug from Ethernet. And then, like I said, the rest of these in here are SATA cables for connecting hard drives or solid state drives that require SATA. And then there are even more RGB cables. So plenty of accessories in the box to do any build. Speaking of build, if you want to get an idea of just how awesome this motherboard will look in action, I'm giving you a bit of an example here. Now this isn't technically the Z390 Meg Ace. This is the godlike. It is the big brother to the Z390 Ace. However, the aesthetics are essentially identical, though some of the features are a bit different. This is what that Z390 Ace would look like in a build. In fact, this particular build is a 9900K with lots of beautiful RGB aesthetics. This is my gaming build, the one that plays all the games and the footage you see on my channel, and, and it's even got Lucky in there for a perfect aesthetic there, the little red dragon. So yes, beautiful, beautiful build, extremely high quality motherboard, good enough for me, and I put it through its paces every day in creating content. This thing has been an absolute beast, and it can be for you too. Let's go take a look at some parts list so you know how to put together a build like this. Alright, so you've gotten to see the Z390 Meg Ace. This is a beautiful motherboard. I showed you its big brother because it looks essentially the same. And I hadn't had a chance to actually put this one into a build, and since I was already running its big brother, I figured we'd compare them, as I mentioned. Anyway, I've put together a couple of builds for you. Let's say that you want to use this Z390 Ace. And yes, there are other Z390 motherboards from MSI. You should check them out if this isn't the one for you for whatever reason, but I promise you this one's very nice. Um, I've put together a couple of builds. The first one is an Intel i5 base build. It is definitely focused on just being an awesome gaming PC, and it'll be pretty awesome in general. It's water-cooled so that you can take advantage of the overclocking capability of this 9600K I have personally used this water cooler, it works great, it is pretty affordable, and it does the job just fine. Of course, we have the motherboard is the Ace itself. And then this memory, right now this Team Vulcan was pretty cheap. Um, it's not showing the price over here for whatever reason, but it was rolling in at just under $100 for 16 gigs. 
and it had some decent reviews. RAM is RAM, it's 3000 speed memory, and should do well. This Intel 660p series uh, hard drive, I have one of these. It works good, and the price is pretty good on them, and you get M.2 speed for a decent price. I then recommend the RTX 2060 6 gig. There is a 1660 Ti out there right now, which is a pretty solid card, and you could go that way too if you want to save a little additional money. But I've used this 2060, and I know for certain that it can run Total War Warhammer 2 on ultra presets at about 90 frames per second, maybe higher, depending on the processor. And with this i5, I think that will be a little higher. So you're talking about extremely good performance out of this card. The NZXT H500 is just a black case with tempered glass. It looks good, it's simple, it has good airflow, it gets the job done. And then the power supply, this Seasonic is a fully modular, gold-rated power supply that will do good by your parts. $1,221 on current US pricing. Is that cheap? No. The Z390 Ace is not meant for a particularly cheap build. It is meant for a build that is going to own, and this build would own, I promise you that. Now, what if you want to take on 1440p? You could keep the same processor, but I built one with an i7 8700K. Well, Air, how come you don't use the 9700K or the 9900K? Well, a couple of reasons. The 9700K is probably about the same price as the 8700K. You can take a pick between them. The 8700K is 6 cores and 12 threads. The 9700K is 8 cores and 8 threads. You get more total threads with the 8700K, which I like. The 9700K could potentially be a hair faster, but I don't think it's a very big deal. You make the choice. I threw in this addressable RGB cooler from Cooler Master because it looks really good. Again, I've used it, it works good, and looks fantastic. You could always use the one that I used in the last build if you don't need the addressable RGB. That's like this rainbow stuff. Um, the Z390 Ace, once again. I've thrown in some nice RAM here that's gonna look good too, because if you're gonna go and build a 1440p build, you have a little bit of money, we're gonna show it off a little. So that's why I've put in this RGB RAM and this Cooler Master Cooler. It's gonna look real good inside that NZXT case. Notice I keep the same case because it gets the job done. Same solid state drive. Now, as for the graphics card, I've upgraded it to the 2070. You get an additional two gigabytes of VRAM. You get more CUDA cores and a faster graphics card so that you can run at 1440p and should be able to get 60 frames per second in pretty much all games out there. So anyway, that is a $1,600 build. Youch, Air, what are you doing to us? Just telling it like it is. You want to build a baller computer that gets you 2K gaming? 1440p, that is. This is what it's going to cost you, so know it up front. Now, that said, there's going to be some of you watching this video be like, whoa, whoa, Air, I like that Ace. It's fantastic, but I can't afford that, not in this life or the next. Well, don't worry. I know the video is not focused on it, but I've showed you this B450 Tomahawk build before. This is an AMD build. You can always go check that out. Now, MSI wants me to show you the Ace, and I did, but I'm just saying there's other options out there. This B450 Tomahawk, a Ryzen 2600, some Patriot Viper RAM, a Crucial Solid State Drive, a 1660 Ti, and that same NZXT case, and then a 520 watt fully modular power supply, gold rated. Only $35. Look at the price on that, folks. $785. And this thing will have some spectacular 1080p gameplay on a very solid budget. So, yes, you can also do it on a budget. I can focus on this more in another episode if you all want me to. This episode's all about the Ace. So these are my two recommended builds for the Ace. You will have to save a little money, but oh man, I'll give you some shots of what it might look like because I have the very similar build right here and you can see for yourself. So I'm gonna roll this one more time and let you uh, know to, that I wanna say thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you coming and looking at this. Thank you to MSI for sponsoring this channel. As you can see in the pictures here, they power my channel with their motherboards. So they help me bring you the content that so many of you love and I appreciate them for it. Thanks for this opportunity. Now that said, also because of MSI, guess what? You have a chance to win the Z390 Meg Ace.
Yes, that's this motherboard right here. You can win this one. <laughs> and you could be the one peeling this plastic off. Oh man, it's a good feeling. Now anyway, seriously, we're gonna be giving this away. All you have to do is watch this video. There can be additional ways you can enter by like following MSI's social accounts, and then I'm gonna make a couple of more MSI videos in the coming weeks with some different products and some different tips for you coming up. Watch those for additional entries. The grand prize will be this motherboard, the MSI uh, Z390 Meg Ace motherboard for Intel 8th, 9th gen processors. So that's a huge prize. I'm also gonna give away two $50 Steam cards and five $20 Steam cards. But if you don't win the grand prize, may still help you with your Total War gaming desires or any gaming desires in general. So make sure to check the link in the description. Again, thanks to MSI. Thank you all for watching. I will see you soon.